Hello, I am your fast technical, and welcomes you. This is part 3 of its magic java. If you haven't watched part 1 and part 2, then watch it first, link is in description. We have already learned some basics methods, keywords, variables, operators. If you haven't watched the previous video then watch it first. In this video we will see condition statements, boolean, logical statements and many more. Before that, make sure that you have subscribed to our channel, and press the bell icon, to never miss any video. Now let's move on. We have already learned some variables. String, int, and double. In this video we will see a new variable. Boolean. As you know, string contains text, int contains integer numbers, double contains real numbers. But boolean contains only true or false. For creating boolean, first we have to type boolean, then we have to give a name to it, and then we have enter its value true or false. Now, let's create a boolean variable in its magic engine. I have already shown how to print text in console. If you haven't watched it then watch the previous part first. Now the boolean, whose name is playing, its value will be shown in console. Conditional statements. Conditional statements are used to perform different actions based on different conditions. The if statement is one of the most frequently used conditional statements. If the if statement's condition expression is to true, the block of code inside the if statement is executed. If the expression is found to be false, the code inside the if statement will not execute. Now let's make if statement in its magic engine. First let's create a int variable, age. Then give a value to the variable, in start method. Now let's create if statement. Now, if age is equal to 20, then message will print in console. There are six comparison operators for if statement. Less than, greater than, equal to, not equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Remember that, you need to use two equal signs, to test for equality. Since a single equal sign is the assignment operator. Now, let's do this in its magic engine. If, age is not equal to 20, then console will be printed. Since, age is equal to 20, the if statement gets false. Hence console is not printed. 
if we change the value of age, then the console will be print. If the condition of the if statement gets false, then we can use the else statement. If condition is false, this code will be executed. If condition is true, then this code will be executed. This is how if else statement is created. If bracket open condition bracket close curly bracket open code curly bracket close else curly bracket open curly bracket close now let's use if else statement in its magic engine If age is greater than 18, console print adult. Else, console print child. Let's make the int variable public, so we can change it while playing also. We have already given a value to age variable in start method. Remove it. We have putted our if statement in start method, hence it will be executed only once. Let move the if statement in repeat method. That's all for today, we will continue this tutorial in next video. Hope you all understood all things. If you have any problem then comment me below. And you can join our discord server also, we daily helps people in the discord server, link is in description. And if you haven't liked the video then please like it, share it with your friends and relatives. I will see you in the next tutorial, till then. Bye bye.